Okay, the next part is pairing up the dedges. Dedges are two two edges, edge pieces. And after you pair up the dedges, you can solve it like a normal 3x3. Three three. To pair up dedges, you need to make sure that you have two in the correct spots. In this case, I have these two in the correct spot. But, they are not positioned correctly. I know they're not positioned correctly, because you can see that both red pieces are facing me. To pair up these edge pieces, I need to make sure that one red piece is in the lower half slice and one is on the top the upper slice to do this you need to perform an algorithm uh, which is actually pretty cool it's L prime R U prime F prime U R prime and that'll switch these two edge pieces and then what you need to do is rotate it so rotate it so that they are together, flip it up, and look for a set of dedges that is not, that are not complete. In this case, it's in the front. Then you're going to rotate that into place where the newly completed ones are in there, rotate it down, and rotate it back to its original spot. This will get one dedge piece set completed, but will not mess up the center pieces. Now you need to keep doing that for every one. I have another dead piece set right here that are not positioned correctly, so I need to do the same algorithm. Okay, now you can rotate this over. This is pretty much really intuitive. There's not much I can do to help you with this, but it really does help to memorize that algorithm. Now, you can do the same thing if both colors are on the top or the bottom. It comes out with the same response. And it doesn't matter if you push away a completed dedge piece, because you're just going to bring it right back up no matter what, unless you do the algorithm completely wrong. This cube is rather clicky, locky. It locks fairly easily. That's not a good thing. If you're trying to speed solve it, it's locky. It, I personally don't recommend it if you're looking to speed solve it, but it's your cube, so it's your money, actually. I don't care. I don't care about my viewers' money. Sorry, I'm looking for a dead set to complete. Okay. Here we have our first first dead parody. Our only dead parody, I should say. There are one or two outcomes where you have all of these dead, these dead pieces done except for two or you have all of them done and you can ready you're ready to start the next step here is dead parity dead parity is when you have two unsolved dedges that have colors of each other now i can't really do this because there are no unsolved pieces on the top i mean yeah and there are no unsolved pieces on the bottom so, I'm kind of uh, messed up. So, what I have to do is, this is incorrect for the parity case to work. You have to do the magic algorithm that I showed you earlier. To get them on the same colors facing you. Now you need to do um, a algorithm that's the same length. 
D star R U R prime U prime D star. And then this will mess up two more, one more edge so that you can solve it, that you can pair up these edges normally. And there you go. All the edges are paired. Now, now you just solve it like a normal 3x3. Three three. So, I'll solve it like a normal 3x3. Three three. And we here we have our first parity case, where the first three layers are solved, and you have the center and one edge flipped. There's an algorithm similar to the one that you use to get the top cross for this, except instead of using the U R, you're doing the R no R instead of using R U, you use U R. So this algorithm is F U R U prime R prime F prime. And that'll give you a three pronged cross with one flip. And to fix this, it's one parity. The first parity was three edges flipped incorrectly. To fix to fix this parity, you're going to perform the algorithm two R star two B two U L star two U R prime star two U R star two U two F R star two F L prime star two B two R star and that'll get you to a point where you have the cross and you can solve it normally. Here we have parity where you have two corners swapped across from each other diagonally. To fix this parity error, you would do 2u star, 2l star, 2u, 2 little l, 2u, 2l star, 2u star, r, u prime, l, 2u, r prime, u, r, L prime, U prime, L, 2U, R prime, U, L prime, U, and that should solve it. Here we have a parity case where two edges, dedges, are flipped across from each other. To fix this parity error, we use a much, much shorter algorithm to uh, fix it. And this algorithm is 2 little r, 2u, 2 little r, 2u star, 2 little r, 2 little u. And that should solve it. Here we have a parity error where 2 two edges are swapped adjacently. To fix this parity error, you will use the same algorithm that you used to fix the previous parity error, where two uh, edges are flipped crossed, and do two little r, two u, two little r, two u star, two little r, Two u, two little u, and from here you can solve it like a normal three by three. If you have any questions, 
feel free to ask. I am open for any discussion that you may need. Um, yeah. Tune in next time when we take on the Mega Minks and a bigger challenge. Have fun and happy cuping.